I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And uh, today I'd like to talk about, is it just me or do you fuckers also think the new E-Class Mercedes isn't quite the best or nothing sort of car? And uh, look, on the weekend I went down to my local Mercedes-Benz dealer and uh, I was looking around at Motors and uh, there was a demonstrator E250. And I, I kind of looked at it. And uh, it was $89,990. Just shy of 90,000 fuckaroonies. And uh, I mean, for 90 grand, I really want a fucking quality car. You know what I'm saying? 90,000 fuckaroonies, that's a lot of money for a car, especially when you consider it's got a 1.8 litre engine. That's right, the E250 uses a 1.8 turbo four-cylinder inline petrol engine. And um, God only knows, God only knows how long that fucking thing is going to last hauling that fucking fat weight around. I mean, this is an engine the same size as a modern Corolla engine. And it's hauling a fucking medium-sized car around. I mean, can you imagine the pressure that this fucking motor is under? I mean, it's going to be okay, you know, for the first owner. What's the first owner do? What are they going to do? They're going to do 60,000, 70,000, then they trade it in on a new one? Yeah, it'll be okay. The second owner gets it. I think around the 100, 100 to 120 mark, some really fucking expensive repairs. And then the, then the third owner, if it makes it that far, it's just a fucking liability. It's a huge liability. And these small turbocharged engines, I mean, fuck, Lotus. I can remember the days when a Lotus with a turbo would last 40 fucking thousand kilometers. That was it, 40 fucking thousand kilometers. And I'm, I mean, these, these new engines are a lot better than that, but fuck, fuck, $90,000. Now, what I think looks cheap, I had a look at this car. This is the E250. And what I found was really fucking cheap on it was the alloys. And, and I looked at the alloys. I had to do a double take. Are these official Mercedes-Benz alloys? Or are they sort of um, a Bob Jane special? You know, that's sort of a discount tyre market. And, I mean, I know they had the Mercedes emblem in the middle, but... They just didn't feel fucking luxurious. They didn't feel like what a $90,000 car's alloy wheels should look like. And I mean, it just it just looked kind of cheap. It just looked kind of cheap. So uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say there. So I mean, you tell me, this is $90,000. $90, I mean, $90,000, that's a lot of money for an automobile. And uh, you'd expect it to be bloody good for 90,000, wouldn't you? I mean, 90 grand, the thing should wish it whistle fucking Dixie. But uh, it just sort of feels a bit shitty. And uh, I don't know, what, what are you Americans? I mean, I was talking to my friend Descartes and he said, no, no one in fucking America would buy a four cylinder E class. He said, that's unheard of. And uh, I can understand why. I mean, it's, it's fucking underpowered. It's going to be a, it's not going to be a long lasting sort of motor. And uh, it's just asking for trouble. It's a price point car. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of the E250.